So we've had the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL in the office for a couple of days now. We didn't unbox it since, you know, we got it a lot later than most people. And when we asked on Ash Answers, you guys didn't really want to see an unboxing either. So I've been using the Pixel 2 XL as my primary for a bit uh, and decided to do a AMA or ask me anything on it. So here's, here are the questions that you guys tweeted out on Twitter and I'm going to be answering them in this video. So without further ado, oh yeah. After this video, if you do end up liking it, give this a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. So without further ado, let's get to the questions. So Biswajit goes, uh, Pixel 2 XL, do we get to change aspect ratios of videos from 16 is to 9 to 2 is to 1? Uh, like with Samsung. So this, this is a yes and no answer. Like with YouTube, you can, you can uh, crop in a little bit, zoom to make sure that it fits the entirety uh, of the display. Netflix by default does scale, but with other apps, it just doesn't work that way. If it's a, if it's, if you're just viewing the, the videos that you shot, then you're stuck, uh, stuck with 16 is to nine. Maybe a third party app would be the fix. Uh, one thing worth noting is that things get really weird with uh, Hotstar. So, you know, with the match, uh, I was watching it on Hotstar and uh, it kind of gets squeezed to the left of the display. Uh, so, uh, if you notice the left edges, you have the curves and the right is sharp. I'm kind of obsessive about these things and it really annoyed me. Anyway, for what it's worth, just wanted to let you guys know. So now, moving on to the next question. Is the portrait mode with single cam as good as a dual camera setup? So initially, once the Pixel 2 was announced, I was kind of, you know, a little bit let down that they're just going with a single camera solution. I do like the portrait shots we get with say the Note 8 or the iPhone 8 Plus or even something like the Xiaomi Mi A1. Uh, but then again, I was really intrigued once I saw Marcus Brownlee tweet out that selfie camera uh, portrait mode shot. And that looked really good. There was a lot going on in the background and it was still quite good. And now that I've got the Pixel 2 XL in hand, it's been great. In fact, I would say the implementation is better uh, than with some uh, dual camera setups. So if you can see, these are all images that we shot with the selfie camera. And yes, they might not be perfect, but they're definitely better than, you know, how it was with the iPhone 7 when it came out and that was hardware, right? So, so we can only expect this camera to get better with time, with updates and all that. So as of now, I'm, I don't think I've shot these many selfies in the last year. I've just been, I mean, if you've noticed my Instagram, uh, there have been months where I've not used it and suddenly I've been posting like, I think I've posted like four or five uh, photos in the last 48 hours. So that's how excited these cameras have me. The implementation is great. Uh, I'm really loving what I'm seeing right now. So there you go, that's that. Do you hear any high frequency noise from earpiece with NFC on? Nope. We've had no issues with cellular reception or call quality. Uh, the earpiece has sounded great. For those wondering, we didn't get the Panda variant of the Pixel 2 XL. We just got the regular good old black variant, but thanks to our friends over at dbrand, we've gotten, you know, a Panda variant now. So if you do like customizing your phones, if you do like making your phones look unique and better, dbrand's got a bunch of skins. They let you mix and match. They've got a great system on their website. Do check them out. They do offer free shipping to India and 99% of the times you don't get charged any customs either. I have until now. And I get charged way too much customs for most of the things I buy. But dbrand, not yet. So anyway guys, that's that. Now coming back to the questions, your thoughts and how would you think that Google can justify the display issues? And you didn't think we're gonna make it through this video without talking about that display, right? So guys, is there an issue with the display? Yes. Is it bad? No. I said no. How can you excuse it? It is not excusable. So, okay, let me clarify my take on this, all right? Yes, there is an issue when you look at white a little off axis, like instead of looking at it right like there's a little bit of a tilt, you see a bluish tint over there. And yes, that does exist. And I've seen it on videos. Here's the thing, it looks worse than your, it's actually gonna be when you use it. Now, I haven't got my Pixel 2 XL for a while, you know, since its launch. So I've been seeing a lot of coverage of this phone. I've seen it on video and I expected it to be really bad. I'm kind of picky with displays uh, and I thought I was really gonna hate it. But then once I got the phone, it wasn't all that bad. 
All right, I'm not making excuses for Google here. Yes, on a phone that's priced this high, this should not exist. They should have gone with a better panel. You know, it is what it is. But what I'm saying is if you're somebody who likes this phone, who loves the cameras, if you're really intrigued by it and you wanna buy it, don't let this be a deal breaker. Yes, it's a bummer. Yes, Google should have done better, but it is not as bad as you think it is. Uh, I was really paranoid about it, but ever since I've started using it, I still know that there's something wrong with the display. It is not perfect, but I'm okay with it. Uh, even for somebody as obsessive about displays as I am, it is not a deal breaker is all I'm saying. Now, as for the saturation thing, that's because Google has calibrated this, this display for sRGB. Well, most displays are calibrated for P3, which means it's not covering the same wide range of colors. So that is something Google hopes to fix in the future with a software update. So I don't think you'd have to worry about that. So anyway, moving on to the next question, how much time does the Pixel 2 take to snap a portrait shot as it has only a single camera and how's the software processing? So how's the software processing? That part we've already talked about. It takes a second or two to actually process it. As in you can go on and keep shooting more pictures, it's not gonna make you wait. But if you're gonna instantly jump into the uh, Photos app, you'd see a second of processing. I actually like it. I don't know why that's something I make sure I immediately, once I've taken a picture, I immediately tap gallery or photos rather and jump in and see it because it's nice to see how the picture was without that processing. And once it comes, it just looks boom. It'll, everything looks all that better. So I actually like it, but yeah, there's a second there. Next question, does the now playing feature work good on the Pixel 2 in India? Does it recognize Bollywood and regional songs nicely? Uh, we've tested it out with a bunch of Tamil songs uh, and it worked well, didn't have any issues. I was kind of surprised, but again, given you know all that data that Google has, um, it makes sense that they can do it. It works fine. How does the software perform during daily basis in comparison to Oxygen OS and others? Lagginess, upload consistency. It's extremely smooth, probably the best I've felt using an Android phone. Uh, it's quite consistent as well. That's been a problem with Android traditionally, but here it's been really good. Again, it's only been 48 hours that I've been using this phone so far. I really like where it's going, you know, where this review's headed in my head, the way the review is coming along. I really like this phone uh, and the performance has been top notch. Comparing it to Oxygen OS, I haven't really tested them side by side. Uh, I could see OnePlus winning a speed test. I could see the Pixel 2 XL winning the speed test, you know, it's, or rather Pixel 2 because both are 1080, we could probably do that. Uh, but then it's gonna be really close. Do you actually want us to do the speed test at Pixel 2 versus the OnePlus 5, you know, 1080p displays? Do a comparison there. If you wanna see a speed test, let us know in the comments below and we will try to make it happen ASAP. All right, so next question. What's your opinion on the Active Edge? Using it, finding it useful? Too soon to tell. As of now, I'm finding it more gimmicky than useful. I still like it, it's something new, so the novelty factor means I keep hitting it once in a while, trying to figure it out. I haven't had any accidental touches. That's something I was worried about. I set the sensitivity to, uh, what do you say, to one end of the spectrum, and it hasn't really triggered by, it, it hasn't been triggered on accident for me at all. So, so far I'm liking it, but I don't know if it's the novelty factor. I mean, whether that's the reason I'm liking it or I'm gonna continue using it. So again, this is something I'll address more in the full review. I know it's gonna rock in performance. Only doubt is whether the camera is best when coming for videos. Will it beat the V30? Hashtag Milo, I like that. Uh, I don't think it's gonna beat the V30. The only reason is I'm not talking about image quality or how the video looks or the stability or all that, but the V30 does have manual mode. Again, that's something even the Note 8 has, but the Pixel 2 XL or the Pixel 2 does not have the manual mode, not only for video, even for still images. So that's kind of disappointing because with OIS having the manual mode means, you know, without OIS, generally brands play it safe and the uh, exposure time is around one tenth or one twelfth of a second. But if you have a manual mode and if you know the subject isn't gonna move, if you know you can, you can actually brace yourself and kinda, you know, keep it steady while you're shooting, then you could go down to as low as one, uh, one fourth of a second or even half a second exposure. And these are things that get you much better shots without 
you know the noise getting too high at lower ISO levels and that is something I really like doing uh, sadly there is no uh, manual mode for either stills or videos here with um, the Pixel 2 XL so especially for videos to execute focus pulls and all that it's kind of important and that is where uh, I feel something like the V30 or the Note 8 will have an advantage over the XL or the Pixel 2 all right so that's there so then final question, as you guys have new Mi, Mi USB Type-C earphones, does it work on the Pixel 2 XL and how's the sound quality? Sound quality? The sound quality is quite good and yes, it does work on the Pixel 2 XL. Uh, I didn't test it out before I read this question. So now I am testing it out and I've been using it. I would have listened to music on it for like 45 minutes to an hour and I'm, I'm liking it. I like the noise cancellation on it. So it's quite good. So those are all the questions that I picked for today's AMA. If there's anything else that you feel I've missed, let me know in the comments. I'll try to get back to it or cover it in future videos. So if you do like me doing AMAs, if you do feel this is something new that new on C4E tech that you'd like to see more episodes of. And by the way, for those uh, wondering, the entirety of this video is unscripted. So how do you like that aspect of it? Let me know all that in the comments below. We'll try to take the feedback and you know come up with more interesting stuff. Or if you hated it, put it down again. Let me know what you hated so that we could kind of tweak things around and you know turn your frown upside down so so we did talk about the speed test versus the oneplus 5 do you have any other requests any other videos like camera comparisons or something let me know what you'd want to see with regards to the pixel 2 and the pixel 2 xl and we will try to make that happen and oh yeah do check out our sponsors d brand if you want to customize your phone if you want a skin that looks as awesome as this you know i'll leave a direct link in the description below do check out d brand and that's it thanks a lot for watching till next time this year is ash you've been watching c4e tech and I'm setting off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.